So what do you see in terms of, I'll come back to this, so the shift you spoke about between like in the last 10 years, is any of the comedy that's coming out today that's been sanitised, does it make you laugh? Does it still work as comedy? Does it still serve its purpose? I mean, there, I watched Bill Bur uh, Bo Burnham's yeah. uh, Netflix special. Yep. Now, was that the funniest special I ever saw? Not really, no. But it was very, very interesting what he was doing, playing with the form. It was sort of comedy as art. But look, there are people who manage to be very transgressive and tackle these topics and do very well out of it. A prime example of that is someone like Bill Burr. There's also Dave Chappelle who does it very, very well, another comedy hero of mine. But these people are already very powerful. They already have huge audiences. Yeah. You know, for everybody else and for people who are wanting to break through, get into the clubs, do that type of material, it's almost impossible. If you want to get on TV, let's say you're a comedian who's written this incredible bit that's very gender critical. Are you going to get on Mock the Week doing that? Yeah. I mean, and that yet ain't you feel happen. that that would have happened ten years ago. Well, yeah, of course it would. yeah, of course it would. So why why is it shifted like this? It's shifted for me because there's a very very vocal minority of people who complain, get angry. So for instance, when we got signed to our comedy agent, there was a group of comedians <laughs> who tried to organise a group to get us cancelled from our agent. Seriously. Yeah.